Welcome to the INTJ Equation, a channel on typology and psychology from the lens of a healthy INTJ. Today, I am joined by John or Oflamo. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Don or Oflamo. You pick either, or you call me some different name. I yeah. am an INTJ that watches INTJ Equation, and I saw well, Jeff. Just read it, count and talk to him a little bit, and he needed someone for his show. So I came on. And you know what? I decided that I'm going to have a camera on today. Just distinguish stuff from just all the edge of the internet that might be invisible and say all kinds of bad ideas they weren't willing to defend. But I can stand by my ideas. I can be on camera. I'm cool with that. Very cool. I appreciate you getting on camera. A lot of people are a little bit too shy for that. <clears throat> but before we get into the content, I'd like to remind you to like, share, subscribe. Uh, this podcast is now live on most major podcasting platforms like Spotify, Google Podcast, uh, and all that good stuff. <clears throat> if you uh, write anything that John or I say, please leave a comment below and tell us what you think. Also, you could find John on Reddit at Oflamo. That's his username. You could also find him at Oflamo at PayPig. And there's also Oflamo's Doom Bunker on Become a Living God. And I'll put all the links down below in the description. All right. So what's being an INTJ like in your experience? I know you said you've been kind of questioning INTJ, ENTJ. Yeah, so before I could move on, please leave a like, leave a thumb up on right. whatever. Yeah. site you're looking at thumbs up it helps the algorithm get it out there to more people thank you <laughs> yes so what like being itj it just it's weird because you don't i don't really feel like i fit in anywhere the, be, the best i can describe is that i can wear multiple hats yay pun but i don't really unfortunately don't really have a tribe so i'm definitely an, an ntj as far as i can tell from being material but Maybe I used to be an ETJ, realized that I try, didn't have a tribe really, and just said, FI, I'm going to do what I want to do. But fortunately, I'm still vulnerable to all kinds of group think bombs. So I like, I like to validate the information by going on just people's interpretation because that's really all we really know that we could, we, everyone has like, um, was a like Scott ha says, everyone has their own set of facts, everyone watched their own movie. So what I'd like to do is just compare movies together and maybe we can find the universe. Okay, very cool. And uh, you also told me that you've been diagnosed with autism and I know that's a huge label for uh, especially INTJs and INTPs and probably NTs altogether. And I know you kind of lost faith in the whole psychiatric psychology community could you give us a little uh, explanation on that yeah yes yeah. so when i was a child i was diagnosed with autism because i think i'm pretty sure i was being abused but status quo doesn't count um so i was diagnosed with autism because um pretty much i read the dsa pretty much they have their own you know mbti is a personality test so pretty much the dsm is also a personality test, except instead of labeling you with um, based on your functions, they label you uh, based on a stereotype and they give you a defamation, defamatory title. They give you defamatory, they defame you and say, um, originally it's labeled Asperger's syndrome, but that was removed between the fourth and the fifth edition of DSM because they they sit there. Um, the psychologists claim that they, they they found new evidence either way, but my hypothesis is that Nazis weren't cool anymore. They, they, Hans Asperger is a Nazi, so they removed it. But Simon Simon Baron Cohen and later, I think 2018, came out and said, "Oh, Nazis are cool." But they they talk the academics talk to each other they're talking each other from the university together they they probably they knew that before 2018 because on record Hans existed in um, the 19, 1930s 
when Hobbes was Roman, 1930. So they had to know 50, 60, 100 years before that Hans was a Nazi. And not, so I, that's my hypothesis. So maybe maybe the science progressed, but they're, they're playing pretty much scientists either physics or stamp collecting pretty much. And they're stamp collectors. Yeah, I used to work, that could be a big part of it. I used to work in behavioral health with kids too and kids with uh, Asperger's syndrome, they weren't considered on the spectrum and they weren't getting a lot of the benefits uh, and a lot of the programs that kind of help them socially like kids with autism was. So that's why they kind of lumped it together too from my understanding as well. But yeah, I was kind of shocked. I read that article where he was a, yeah, he's pretty much a war criminal. They considered him after the check did a, the checks did a, a background check on him basically and dug in and found that that, he was experimenting on kids unrestricted and pretty much getting research from the Nazis. Yeah, yeah. But that's, I guess that's all um, behavioral science progresses. And for, unfortunately, we also had an issue with um, the Milgram, I guess the Milgram prison experiment. You're familiar with that. Turns mm -hmm. out that what that wasn't the case. They did their original speculations that this new research isn't isn't matching up so so good i hope good, i'm glad hopefully that the counter evidence persists but who unfortunately who knows now because they go back and forth so i, I do realize i called you today it just this is not this is i don't, I don't know that they don't, they don't have they don't have a theory yet so so autistics are supposing don't have a theory of mind, but I do because I have MBTI and Enneagram. So officially we go strictly by the original definition that I, I will fall out of the definition. But they, they supposing can read minds, they know better than me. So so they can keep that label on me but but psychology today apparently there's 69 different therapies you can find via psychology today. 69 i think i have a post on reddit somewhere but 69 different therapies yeah one of the biggest criticisms of typology that's inconsistent and very convoluted but if you read the DSM-5, there's just so much verbatim and so many overlapping symptoms and diet and criterion for mental illnesses and personality disorders and things like that. It's just, it's really unhelpful. And I think it's kind of hypocritical in a lot of ways. So what I want to do is draw the models out. Unfortunately, I need, I need, I need to map them all. I'm actually trying to teach myself some data mining via Wolfram script and Python and try to teach yourself that I need to see some way to maybe make link a database to a drawing somehow. It's still a lot, a lot of complicated stuff. You have to put map together. But I want I want to eventually just draw draw the DSM as an as if it's just a bunch of objects. So not just it's something you can imagine draw. Hope we could draw it so we can actually understand what's in it. And guys mm -hmm. otherwise otherwise you have yeah, you have a power discussion, but we don't know how they link together. So, so that's why I'll, someone did, a whole bunch of people can study the same thing for years and don't really agree with each other. So we just draw it so, so we can understand. Maybe, maybe they do understand and we're just too stupid to get it, or maybe they don't understand at all. We don't know yet. We need, that's why we need to draw it and get a model. Yeah, I think they keep it very jargon based and com and really complex like they do law so the basic person doesn't really know how to navigate it and it takes an expert with a degree or credential to do that yeah so the funny thing about the the law is that we have to follow each and every one of the laws and we don't even know how many there are that's 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 ridiculous we don't we can't i can't go work from alpha and ask if how many laws do we have it has no idea. You can ask anything about Rick Peter's statistics and get, but Wolfram Alpha doesn't know how many laws are. Wolfram, Wolfram, um, seeing Wolfram's also on TJ, he's really smart, smart. He's 
way smarter than me, but he, he even he doesn't know how many laws there are. Mm -hmm. There's way, way too many. <laughs> okay, I'd like to get into the functions a little bit. I know you give a little uh, sentence or so for each function. Um, you kind of see uh, NI as instinct and speculation on what will happen. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got I got working at chaotic environment right now working at warehouse that move that moves packages pretty much how I use learning stick there is that I I always guess based on the facts I have around me what what's gonna happen next where do I need to be to make that big plays so we can get this done really quickly so I'm I'm always I'm always sort of taking the, the environment and figure out what the heck's going on so my god so good at guessing that I can just not even be on the radio and know what what's going to happen what's what's about to break where they need more where they need more people at so and so it's it's, it's kind of weird so pretty much I'm I'm looking then guessing what's going to happen next and trying to move I guess move how the guess a just to say move that timeline or whatever to get to one point I actually want to get to. I know I know this is a lot of INTJ's experience and probably INFJ's too. Like with these uh, speculations where you kind of see these contingencies and how things are going to play out, do you get a lot of like, what the hell are you talking about? You have no evidence. Uh, we're not going to believe you, think you're crazy. Do you get that a lot or do people at work kind of respect your opinion? So it's got, so I've been there for a while in their terms of like three years or so. And I guess recently I've got an award for guessing and do a bending a candy guessing game because I just low twelves and I just understand cubic warm enough. I'll just I'll get the award and show you real quick. So here it is. Here's the award I got because I guessed how much cubic volume I had in here. I was actually really good at that game too as a kid. I won two times in a row and people thought I was cheating and thought I was counting them, but how can you count them when they're all smushed together in there? But very cool coincidence he won that as well. <laughs> so pretty much how you count them is you kind of, you, you kind of have it's got or Mac, you kind of have an idea how much how much a thing can take up and the negative space in there. I'm sure we could I'm sure we can make find a mathematical function that's explain how it will actually work to show, but that I guess I just have a feel for how much um how many objects being packed in so much space. So it's got so just kind of it's kind of all a math now. But only thing is it it's hard to explain it. It's a, it's take too many steps to explain. It. So it it makes the fast the fastest way I could do it is just show you how I do it. Then point to what the bombs here or what kind of issues you have there. Because explaining it, it'd say, I'd take a whole book. I'd take a whole book. I don't know how many pages would be because I didn't write it yet. But the showing you will show you however amount of time it takes to show you that's the best way I can get someone else to understand how it works. Yeah, that's the frustrating thing about NI is like you can picture it in your mind perfectly and it makes perfect sense. But once you try to explain to other people, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's very, yeah, so, very complicated. So the be, the easiest as an alternative is actually just showing you myself the mm -hmm. best thing is to sort of draw a picture. Yeah, that's kind of where I get like I just got tired of explaining to people. I'm just gonna do it and show them and go go that route basically. What about uh TE? How does that work for you? Are you pretty mathematically inclined? It kind of seems like you were telling me some stuff where you're good at with like data and uh technology and things like that. Yeah, I, I was a Linux and Unix system administrator before I got this job. I got so I was that. Unfortunately, I get paid more to move stuff around than um, ironically. So, so I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm good enough. I guess a better than average person. I'm not I'm not super elite academic class at that. So I'm 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 good enough. I'm to a normal person. I'm a freaking wizard, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting to Hogwarts anytime soon. So. So TE, what I do is try to try to see how everyone else sees it. So TE, I described it in our um, 
document as I guess peer review group think. So this is column says we have one facts. I, I we try I try to compare the facts to see to just get the you know to see where where the objects are, where the universe is. And I think I have I have my own definition of universe. What did I say it was universe, a set of objects that have physical presence of each other. But we all have our own reality or interpretation of the universe as a because Bernardo Castro says we all have our interpretation own interpretation of the universe. So I try to I try to get those aligned so we can figure out how we get how we how we get this in the right universe in the right state so we get what we want out of it. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. I don't know if we have our I guess we do have our all our own opinion on what it is, but I do think it's I have a very pantheistic view that we're all kind of a part of the universe and we can kind of create our own our own ways basically we can create and we can destroy like god so we're basically gods in our own sense i believe i've been reading lately i've been reading a book with uh john and or jerry and esther hicks abraham hicks mm -hmm. kind of interesting like on in the law of attraction and pretty much how your thoughts can bring you they control you basically they can bring you what you want or bring you what you don't want yeah but i actually have a little bit of problem with law of attraction because i think it rides a lot on survivorship bias. So pretty much the one the ones that do get what they want, well, they we we could see that they use a lot of attraction, but we do not see the people who use a lot of attraction and didn't get what they want. So I, I speculate, but I haven't I don't want to take a firm that that that's a that's my parental principle, at least 80% of the people that try to vote the law of attraction, it doesn't get them what they want. So it's guess I guess it's I guess we could say it's necessary but not sufficient. Yeah, yeah. I'm not hundred percent sure if I buy it all either, but I guess it's the whole point of law of attraction is just believing it without questioning it, basically. And that's a hard I have a hard time believing without questioning. <laughs> All right, let's look at FI. I really like this statement. I like what I like. It pretty much sums up FI. I don't know if I quite agree with this. I prefer getting stuff done quick and cheap. I think that's more TE, but TE and FI are in the same spectrum, basically. So I guess more or less it is that too. Yeah, it's it's it they're, they're related to each other. So so I use I use my FI by TE. So yeah, TE wants to I guess you'd like to pass man to try where you get quick, cheap, or good. And you can pick up the two on by normal circumstances, but um, but that but um, I do like getting things done quick and cheap. And evolution will get it to good. We we have this. We have we have science that says that says that we have demonstration. We have um, cell atomic that demonstrates it. So we can get to good via evolution, rather than just trying to design it. INTP style with this in the in the flame of forms or whatever. We get, so so we could we could design it, but maybe when it gets the gets the reality, we get the universe, it falls apart and it's, it's not good enough. So so like when so, we try to make something, it, it is a matchup to evolution, is what you're trying to say? So pretty much evolution, you can just use evolution to make your thing work by just saying, okay, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, and just just, just iterate through all the things that don't work to get a set of things that don't work the least. Then, then we just say, oh, that works the best. Very interesting. I know, I wish evolution worked a lot faster than it does, but it's a very slow process, but... Uh... Okay, but how does that uh, tie in the FI exactly? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a better way to tie the FI is that I, I used to use um, Debian on my desktops and laptops. Back to move to MX Linux like in the past month because it get it gives me it feel it gives me more it makes me feel more in control because it get it gives me the interface is better. There's less stuff I have to mess with myself i'm not i'm i can code and stuff but it doesn't get me off i know somehow some people get off on 
moving bits around. But I just want that. I want my application. When I'm trying to program something, I want my application. I want it to do what I want it to do, and I don't really care about moving the bits around. It doesn't get me off. So I, mean, I know I know some people said, oh, about well, I should because stuff, but I, hey, I don't. So we we, had, we had go from there. Very cool. Let's move on to SE, which you call reacting to probable reacting to probable events and influencing the outcome. I know you you look like a quite snazzy dresser too. So absolutely. I absolutely <laughs> am a quite snazzy dresser. And I had I had a plan that. Okay. How else do you uh, use your SC? And I know it's the inferior function. How's that been a challenge for you and how have you overcome it? So I, I had I had to train the SC just just to do do makerspace stuff do where else so i i had to train that really hard if i could i, I have models but if i don't know what's going on then my models will just just be got kind of misconfigured it's like you know have a touch screen and stuff and you have you have to recalibrate sometimes or clean it off pretty much the sc i try to clean off so i can actually use my my models to actually work have you ever played any like sports or anything like that or yeah i, I played i played sports when uh, government school but i was really bad at them and i didn't the coaches weren't that good either so i was i did play i did play football both both the european style and american style football i was i just not that good at them yeah i was never very good at team sports either especially soccer i was actually decent at football like american football but not i'm guessing when you mean european football you mean soccer absolutely yes so so just mm -hmm. hand and football well great iron football i like great iron the term for the american football better than hand egg it doesn't too, i don't know you're a football fan then like so i live it, i live i live in skillet country but i i'll just say i'm not watching the game right now assume i don't know if they even have one so i'm not watching the game right now on sunday uh, yeah, I know the Super Bowl is coming up soon. I just don't know when and don't really care when. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's move on to the shadow functions. I really like this uh, this uh, label too. Opposing personality, extroverted intuition. You call it conspiracism. That's that's interesting. Could you elaborate on that? Oh, yeah. So I was a big fan of Alex Jones and his clones and double gangers. So, so I got... So, I I, I kind of like the show. It's very entertaining. It's just there's a Texas sharpshooter fallacy going on. So yes, he gets a whole bunch of stuff right, but we have to compare the set of stuff he got wrong. So so yeah, I like I like that he, I got he got a lot of good got a lot. Of, he hit the targets a lot, but if you're moving the dartboard to where where you're just hitting then um is it really that good oh so and you're saying like he gets a lot of things right but he kind of controls where the dart's gonna land or yeah yeah he got he cried he cried says where the, he says after he he he, move, he moves the target to wherever he hits and that, that's that's the same thing for the paranormal present and that whole whole bunch of other conspiracy theories so we don't we're not we're not act you 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 got right. We had to give you credit there, but you, we have we have to factor in your ratio. If you if you're if you're, you're right that the that um the government planned something, but wrong about the shape of the planet, and you don't get to test for yourself. Then um just how how good how good is your methodology? But so, but hey, when you you if we just if we just lower this, how do you think? Here's lower the scope to the stuff you get right consistently, then that's good. We can we can trust that set of data, the trust methodology. But still, we have to be careful and make sure we ignore the stuff, ignore the stuff that you're not very good at. So if we you can partition out the guess the areas you're guessing and just verify there, we could we could trust you on that set only. Very interesting uh, because I think Alex Jones, I haven't really typed him that well, but he does come off as an ENFP and it kind of ties in together. How is your any opposing 
uh, your any nemesis kind of worked against you, works against you in the eye. I think, I think don't, um, you know, he may be an ESFP, but we, we need to look into that. I'm not quite sure. So my, my guess is ESFP for Alex Jones. Hmm, maybe I'll be a, a typing video soon with a look at him. Yeah. So what was your question again? How does there any opposing personality work against your NI or you in general? Um, well, of course, I think it's under control for me, but that, 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 uh, but the MBTI model would take that, I would say that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I may, pretty, pretty much I, I used to do very recently was a free software obsessed person. Even though I really do prefer having the source code, sometimes I can't, if, your app, if the application comes broken, I can't spend my life trying to fix it just to get my, keep my stuff working. I, I can't, I don't have time to maintain my own servers if it's not critical and make me money. So I don't, I, instead of forming my own, having my, rolling my own email server and doing the blacklist garbage, I just use um, RAM node right now. But so I have control over the thing, but I don't have to spend all my time maintaining the thing. But so it gets pulled together via the, the lot and all the people gets buying the service. So it's still a uh, really open stack and still someone probably wants it because their job's on the line, but I don't have to do it all myself. Okay, very cool. Want to look at uh, the TI cynics? You define TI as logic, internal consistency, and I will shoot an idea with logic and see if it has any staying power. So I know with INTJs, a lot of us, we kind of, we'll just have a quick TE judgment. We don't really look into things very deeply and we just kind of make a snap decision. So that's something you kind of overcame for the most part where you can kind of look a little bit deeper and come to your own conclusion rather than a source. Mm, I, I practiced it. I'm not sure I overcame it. I practiced it at least. So like, I, like my favorite I, uh, INTPs, uh, Bill Gady, I looked into his rope model pretty closely, but I, unfortunately I found some just singularities in the model, contradictions in the definitions. And I just, so I, I'm taking the stuff I like. I like his, the way he defines things like the word science, which is, um, how do you define so I have I have it here. Yes, yeah, science to, to explain the presentation. I like that, but I don't like that he says he's the only physicist in continuity. That is just absurd. Okay. And how does that kind of bite you in the butt, like your TI cynics where you don't? check things um maybe you have like your own you're insecure about your own intellectual intellect or maybe you think you're more intellectual than others and smarter than others you ever have that pride issue oh yeah i, I have it all the time so so when I, when I got my last i guess evaluation 2017 where they confirmed my asperger's syndrome even though it's not a valid diagnosis at the time uh, they, I guess they had my IQ of 105. Um, people say I'm smart all the time, but I'm, look, I mean, if we go by the professional variations, there's not a lot of horsepower in addition. It's like it's 5% over average. So I don't, it's not, and I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm smart. I guess may, maybe we just need to figure out what we mean by smart, but just, I don't, I don't really have that much horsepower in the hood. I uh, also, I can, and also I just have preferences. I can code, but I'm just not super duper obsessed with this. I can write it when I'm asleep, as far as I know. And they just, and, but then the expectation is, well, I should be able to code in 50, because, let's say five different things, that's still absurd. And just memorize all the syntax. But I, got, I mean, I've watched Stephen Wolfram, someone who's way smarter than me, when he does his, his daily live, live demos even even he needs to look up the syntax of his own language so what it's that who who's who realistic is gonna meet that standard no no one's gonna realistically meet that standard so what what, what i know is happening is that 
people are just lying. People are lying, and a lot of times you don't have the checks for it, so people can get rid of lies. And I really can't catch up to the lie. I'm not good at it. I think that kind of ties into the next function of uh, FE trickster. This is where I question if I was autistic for many, many years, and I even had a nurse practitioner tell me I was pretty much autistic, basically, on a very shoot from the hip judgment. How has FE trickster affected you? And you see FE trickster as don't understand what people really want. Lots of failing institutions and rich scammers. Yes, I don't. I don't get it. I don't. I don't <laughs> understand. People want it is. I, I see people paying their life savings for a hyperlink. That's what a non fungible token is. It's a hyperlink. People pay their life savings for a hyperlink. I mean, they could just go there, download the picture for free. I'm just not, I'm just not even a rum pill kind of thing. They could literally just go get the picture while you're buying a hyperlink. Well, well I, have a, I have a reference in the database that's tied to my account. Okay, what's so a what? what? That, that was, what does that even mean? So is that something that you fell for? Did you fall for a scam or? Oh, I, oh yes, I, I fell for scams before. I used to be, I used to be red team, blue team kind of thing. I fell for the scam, just a whole bunch of scams. It's, I guess I would say I was 15, I'm 30 now. And it just, it's, I, I think I think the bunch of garbage is, I just farm me for money, but then get their the psychopathic friends in power and, oh, we, we got the savior for you. Oh no. They, 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 they're stabbing us in the back. They're rather stabbing you in the back. We need more money now so we can get the, our ne the next line of them. And I, what I really want to do is figure out, figure out where they get, where they're getting them from. It's going to take a lot of data mining to figure out where they're getting these people from. What? Or maybe it's the system itself. I don't know yet. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people, a lot of things that people, <clears throat> I think that's a big thing that a lot of people don't realize with INTJs. When we're young, we're really gullible. I remember when I was a kid, I would fall for just about anything. So mm -hmm. definitely, yeah. sorry that happened to you. Happens to a lot of people, unfortunately. And what about a SI demon? You said your SI demon really doesn't like scammers and I can see why, you know, good excuse. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I really don't like scammers. I mean, I've, um, I'm actually holding a subway hostage from one per, one of the people who scammed me because, because they not only scammed me, but they made threats upon me because I was opening up from my gets off to the diagnosis of them. They, they were just two faced and just a total punk. I'm, I'm sure the, the Thunderheads will come and say, they, well, they haven't been opposing me for years now. They just, they know where I am. And it, they, I guess they don't have an attention or they're still shooting themselves in a circle. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. But just, but that I'm holding subreddit hostage just to show that that the scammer doesn't have as much power as they pretend to have in their head. Yeah, I think it usually comes back to them one way or another. All right, we went through uh, all the functions. I would like to get a little bigger take on your uh, Asperger's autism uh, diagnosis there. So. Does it affect your ability to make friends at all? I know INTJs struggle with that in general, including myself, even to this day. Is that something that kind of got in your way? Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I think that the, the thing is society, the fabric of society is falling apart, so barely anyone has friends now. So it's, I, I don't know. There's been hypothesis that's been divulged to uh, lookism, but even still with Tinder and stuff, this, it's this like uh, Sam Wagner says, it's like 99.99% misses for everyone on Tinder and stuff. So it's, it's tough to say. Um, the autism, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a pattern, it's a pattern. So, so for me to not be autistic, you literally just roll another person and if their pattern doesn't match, then they're not autistic. But with the way the DSM is, we can always we can always find some other thing to label you. So the, the problem with DSM, big five, they haven't, they didn't define what mentally healthy was in the first place. So nobody knows what it means. They, you can't, they can't draw a picture of a mentally healthy person for us. Mm -hmm. So so what we do is spend much spend money on this 
this guild of magicians and try to buy validation and proof from them. It's just, not, it's just another religion. Yeah, it's it's very autism is very odd and interesting how little we know about it, and how much they think they actually know about it. It's just weird. Like we could have somebody who's diagnosed autistic, but they can't go to the bathroom themselves. They can't talk. They can't feed themselves. Then you have someone who's just a little socially awkward, who's like a savant or highly intelligent. I mean, I guess that would be the Asperger's thing. Do you think Asperger's and autism are two totally different things? No, it's the same thing. It's probably also. Um, it's probably also um, the cluster B personality types, also probably the cluster C. So, so autism, Asperger's, sit story, narcissism, sociopathy is probably all the same thing. Like Sam Vagnon is just working on the committee to just say all the personality disorders. It's just the same thing, but different variants of the same thing. But he's a, he's a fan of MBTI and type theory. So, uh, so, so, so psychology is catching up with MBTI. Yes, mainstream psychology catching up with MBTI. What was his name again? Sam Vaknin. Sam Vaknin? Sam Vaknin. He's a doctor of um, finance yeah. and um, psychology and physics, and he is a YouTuber. Look him up. You said that he believes that autism is tied in with personality disorders and they're one and the same, basically? No, he does not believe that, but he does believe all the personality disorders is just this one thing that that um, go, comes in um, different flavors. But he also has some kind. Of, he also has internal external objects, and I guess it, his model doesn't make sense with my model. I, I don't know. I don't understand what an internal object is. That's interesting. That's pretty much what along the lines I believe. I believe that certain types are affected certain ways by trauma and they develop certain personality disorders or what they call personality disorders but i think it's just a almost like a retardation of the functions basically rather than a whole distinct disorder and there's a that's the big five neuroticism the one the one the one the one um i guess one dimension that you you better off getting a golf score than getting a um, basketball score in so, so neuroticism. So, I guess MBTI says not neuroticism is just um, looping. They describe it as looping, but mm -hmm. instead, um, mainstream psychology, and this is just say psychology, this is say psychology, says neuroticism is just a, just a, all the bad stuff about someone. And it's just put it in a big bucket. Yeah. So, so if you if you did try to ask the colleges, well, I'm neurotic. I'm scoring neurotic. What should I do? They said, hmm, I don't, I don't know. It's just it's just bad. We, we, you pay us, and we'll try to treat it with whatever 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 thing they peddle. Would be drugs. It be acting. Whatever they sell. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the five. I took it, and I learned nothing about that I didn't already know about myself. Basically, yeah, I have high neuroticism. I'm really low in extroversion. Big whoop. What is that? What what good does that do me? Yeah, I'm dis I'm disagreeable. Oh yeah, I'm about in the middle of agreeableness. So, so, but yeah, nothing yeah, so I don't know. So hmm. I, att I attribute a neuroticism to a sin in, I guess, uh, Abrahamic religion. So I just neuroticism is just a sin. Just this the psychology equivalent for sin. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so I want to bring this thing home pretty quick here. Um, so you put down several different types as your favorite. You put a ESFP, ENTP, and INTP. I'm really surprised by ESFP. Could you explain why? Yeah, I know. You know, you had uh, ES ESFP issues in the past with your um, ex girlfriend, but the, the thing is about them is that they somehow come to the same conclusions. But to use a different method, it's just um, that's just amazing. I just um, just, just, I'm just so interested in it. That's interesting that you have that experience. I come to the complete opposite conclusion of ESFPs, and I have a lot of ESFPs in my life. How do you guys come to conclusions exactly? Like, could you give an example? Hmm. 
I don't. I really don't interact with them that much. Uh, unfortunately, I don't interact with them. But it's, it just, it just, it's just thought. Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind if I had more experience with them. But that's just what my impression is right now. Okay. Do you get to interact with people a lot, or is that just a struggle with you? I I interact with people a lot. I just I go ahead. I go ahead and introduce myself. But it's all. It's pretty superficial. It's not. It's not deep. But I, I interact with a lot of people. My, I interact with more people. Maybe something, maybe something happened. That's why I, I come on your show. I'll start going on other people's shows. Maybe I'll have my own show uh, sooner or later. Cool. And maybe I'll be able to meet more people in a way with more staying power. So I get. I usually when I'm around people, they they generally like me. Till till it's like a controversy that goes haywire. It's usually not even my fault. Even cause it. Then say, oh, it's bad. Get rid of them. But usually, till then, I'm well liked. Very cool. I'm glad you can find a place to fit in. And you said NTPs, INTPs, ENTPs are among your favorite too. They're good brainstorming partners, and it puts you at ease. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they're really, they're really. Uh, uh, manager, um, she she was into MBTI. She was um, INTP. Um, he, so a lot of people find them out, but usually. The kind of chaos it causes is the chaos I need to get to make room for it to get stuff done. So, but that, that that's a that they they we see eye to eye enough, but we see enough of the we can we can see the other we can see what other one doesn't see, and we can get get everything together. So that's why I like those. All right. I'm actually a little surprised here. You said that ENFPs are your least favorite type, and I'll put this in uh, quotes, basically. ENFP, be basically because they don't make sense to me. Very dominated by emotions that take too long for me to decode. Also because they are a shonen protagonist where things just happen to fall into place, even without the effort it would take from other people. Yes. Yes, I did say that. So I, I'm just, it just, it just, uh, it just annoying. And that and people use that premise to make just tautology decorations like um I guess I'll get from ENFPs and ICJs that they they say something crazy like um the world the world is perfect because it's it's it it exists and it's okay then then that is perfect is not good enough for me not this strangely ISTJs you just don't do that just like the status quo, but I actually like ISTJs. They, they, they're, they're not my favorite, but I actually like those. But this ENFPs, they don't, this, they don't, they just, I can't, I can't, I can't even. And just something in this, I got, I kind of like Ganymede, but I just, I just stopped watching it because I just, I do not relate to the protagonists. That's not most of them. Okay, you also said INFJs are one of your least favorite types too. Why yeah, yeah. That? So like it may just be Lex Friedman. I actually like Lex Friedman. No, it's not just Lex Friedman because what's his name? What's the typology guy who's also INFJ? Frank James pretty much just say stuff like level save the world and stuff. And I don't see it. I don't I don't have any intuition to agree with them. So we could we can agree with love is there is a bunch of different types of love, but lo love and guess hate on I guess love and apathy are the same matches and love and hate is also the same matches. I don't the, th the thing is love drives people crazy. I don't we, we need more sanity more. Well we don't need we don't necessarily need more sanity in order. We just, we just need we need things to be simple. We need things to be more simple. And the love just makes things complicated. I don't see how it's gonna say the world. I don't like to be that guy that kind of says other YouTubers are mistyped, but I do generally think he's actually an INFP. I have to agree with C.S. Joseph here, but I don't think uh, C.S. Joseph is a type he says he is either. No um, way. No way C.S. Joseph is a type he says he is. No way. Yeah. What type do you think he is? Um, yeah, I, I, right now, I think for um, C.S. Joseph's um, ESTJ, like, um, you know, Bowser, be King Bowser Cooper. He's, I think they're the same type. So he pretty much he's 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 domineering, but he he got he, got, he gets support, but he always goes along diatribes and he does 
he doesn't get there all that fast, but he 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 always wants to say he he always right there he he has it he has it all the time. But he he uses tea, but then he doesn't use enough. You know, I guess he has tea, but he uses a lot of tea, but it just it just weird. It just he doesn't he he somehow drops he he sees it, then he drops the things he sees and gets his thing he was trying to get to anyways. I come to the conclusion that he's an ENFP. He definitely has that uh, keeps going on and on and on. It's not really direct, um, but he just continually uses TE and FI. And I think the TI trickster in him thinks like he has this thing where he thinks like TI is the end all be all. It's the most correct thing in the world. And I think that's just a lack of TI where he thinks that. And he just constantly cites sources and says things that he likes and dislikes and his strong opinions on this and that. And it's just, over and over and over again and don't get me wrong i do like csj in a lot of ways i did get a lot you know a source like a lot of his system and stuff i think he has a good typing system but mm -hmm. i so, uh, go ahead you can continue uh, i was gonna say i just think he's wrong in a lot of things too and he's i don't think he's an entp for sure yeah yeah i'll, I'll still watch his show but I'm just, I'm not sure I'm going to pay, I don't know how much he charged with Tyler, $300 for a typing session. I'm not yeah. sure. I, I, I'm not sure. I would. I don't think his opinions worth that much. I, I, yeah. I, I, I got to agree. I think he's getting to the point where he's exploiting people. And I think typing a newborn in INTJ is a little, a little pretentious, a little too much. He, he, he can't, he can't do it. He can't, we could, at that rate, you're not developed enough. So we could probably figure out the quadra, but there's no there's no way we have enough information and we, there's enough brain development that we know what type. Yeah, yeah. You can't interact with a, a baby. <laughs> and we mentioned ESTJs, and you think that CSJ is an ESTJ, which is interesting, but I guess it's in the same quadra as an ENFP, so makes sense. Same functions, different order. They blindly yeah. accept the status quo is acidic and not based. Yep, 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 yeah. So that, that's another thing they kind of do, and they also really, they really don't like our FI. Really, you, you, there's a bunch of videos. See, it just as I'm fasting ideas because they're our FI. So, so, so I, I like what I like, and if it's wrong, then then I'm too bad. I'm gonna keep liking it. Yeah, I got to agree with you there. I don't want to type bash anyone, but ESTJs are the biggest friction type that I have. They just, like you said, they just take it. If it's in a book, if it's in a study, it's real to them. They can't think of anything themselves, come to their own conclusions. And I think that's just uh, the FI inferior there. They're just so afraid of that. I think, you know, a lot of people think FI is just your own emotions and your own things, but it's also your own values and your own beliefs too. And like, what you stand for they're just so afraid to stand for something that they just go with everybody else mm -hmm. all right so you put some stuff here what would you like to know about intjs you put where intjs can get along with society without the necessary necessity to be rich or smart you talk yes. about that more so pretty much you know you, i know you don't like don't think elon musk is an intj i actually think he is and we have the bruce wayne's we have i guess we have the near from death note so pretty much when when we say just in fiction, I guess in practice, we, we like we like they put INTJs on a pedestal if and only in which if they were rich and or smart at the begin with. That way they could fit into the status quo. But we don't we really we otherwise we just die in TJs a villain. This is that's that's how we just sort them into. They're, they're the villain, they're gonna take away your peace. They're bad, and that's then that's where they are, end up most of the time. But I can't really live in a society when I'm I'm not, well maybe I can. I I don't perceive I don't have any intuition to live in a society where I'm the villain. I don't have any intuition for that. I don't they don't they don't, they don't have that class in uh, government school. What makes you come to conclusion that uh, Musk is an INTJ? Okay. So what he really does is he repackages hand-year-old inventions and sells them to the government and hipsters. That's a that's a very cynical 
way to use your TE. And he does have it. He, he does he does have it, but he knows what he wants to do. He wants he wants to take take his walk and get to Mars. Once he can get Mars, he got, I guess he wants to get some give Marvin Martian a fist bump or something. But um That's pretty much the gist of it. Like why the hell are we gonna go to Mars? What's that gonna prove exactly, you know? Yeah. So he wants to give Marvin a fist bump. Yeah. And uh kind of I guess flip off. Bezos at it while he's at it too. And win that pissing contest. Yes. <clears throat> Billionaires pissing away this whole experience. Just then we're all kind of struggling down here. And we need to fix the planet that we can live on, I think, first. Then we'll then we'll talk about Mars. Let's fix this planet that we know we can live on first. I'm I'm okay with them going to Mars. I'm okay with spending the money going to Mars. Actually, I like Jeff Bezos does then a lot of good. Yeah, he's 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 gonna he he's buying Walmart. Um, he's getting he getting stuff really cheap. He he or he he made a copy where he got he got to resell his service to other people because he meant he took the time to get his procedures right. And that's a lot, that's a thing organizations really do. So he took the time, spent the money on autumn, didn't make a profit, ignored the investors, didn't make a profit, and focused on getting his system right. So that's that's um that's a thing I respect Jeff Bezos for. Yeah, I mean I'm a hypocrite here. I have a lot of criticisms towards Amazon, the way they treat their employees and they use half a tree to ship a box of a container of toothpaste basically. Uh but I guess nobody's perfect. So you said you'd like to help tell the difference between ENTJs and ESFPs. There's lots of in conclusion entries in the personality database and other places. And you use uh, I, Grim Adventures of I Billy Harriet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my ex step kids used to watch that show. And um, you want to talk about those a little bit? I'll definitely post those down in the description if other people want to check them out. Yeah, so pretty much I, I can't, I, yeah, it's inclusive where whether Eris of that show is um, ESFP or ENTJ. I know, I know there's some forum posts that made it good, especially while she's ENTJ. I haven't, I haven't seen any posts saying explicitly why she's ESFP, but when I just look through to myself, she could, she looks ESFP. But hey, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't have enough data. I need. I know. I actually don't have the tools to um, figure it out myself. Maybe someone who's good at typing fictional characters or, or good at, and just, I guess do it's to probably become her and do a test as her and get the information out. I'm not. I'm just. I'm not sure yet. I don't have enough information to make a good conclusive judgment myself. I I take fictional typing with a huge grain of salt because the actors and the, the writers and stuff don't really have type in mind. Somebody on my Discord server was uh, asked me to type Tai Lung from Kung Fu Panda. And uh, interestingly enough, I came to ISFP, even though the interaction styles didn't match up with the ISFP, I think the, the whole morality and the way he navigated and stuff did. But I think it's just a big amalgamation of types like Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. I think he's like an INTP and an INTJ put together. So, but um, our, bodies, our bodies don't take put type in mind either. It's just a it's just a framework we put over the stuff. That's why we could type water or uh, colors on the personality database. It, it works. It's fine. It's a. It's just it's just um. The problem the problem with MBTI is that we haven't been able haven't had the tools to get consistent enough so we can agree on who what the type is. So even when I did 16 personalities, I I usually get INTJ consistently, but I'm really close on that TE and NI still. So yeah, I, I mean, that's one of the biggest criticism of typology is the lack of consistency and results that we get. And I guess that's a fair criticism, but I guess it is what it is. We'll get it. We'll get it sooner or later. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, I think that's all that I have. Do you have any last thoughts for the people? Uh, not really. Just be sure to like and subscribe to INTJ Creation. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll just second what he says. I really appreciate you watching this. Uh, 
if you want to check out more Oflamo, I think he's a really interesting guy and has some interesting perspectives. So definitely uh, check out his stuff as well, which will be down in the description below. Thank you for going beyond the clickbait and have a great day.